फोर थ्री टू वन वी आर लाइव नाउ ओके गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू दिस इवनिंग वेबिनार विच इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रॉड टू यू फ्रॉम द ऑर्थोपीडिक रिसर्च एंड एजुकेशन फाउंडेशन थ्रू ऑर्थो टीवी एंड टूडे वी हैव द प्लेजर ऑफ हैविंग डॉक्टर विकास अगाशे from hinduja hospital mumbai who is going to talk to us about metabolic bone disease uh, he is uh, going to make this interactive so all the uh, dnb students who are present should get involved in it uh, also best uh, uh, sort of uh, wish you all the best for this uh, republic day today and uh, hopefully we will be on till the next republic day at least so over to you vikash thank you so friends what i intend to do okay so we will discuss some x rays then i'll introduce metabolic bone diseases we'll discuss briefly about vitamin d and rise and fall of skeleton so the during this exercise session i would like to be interactive so i request all of you to put on your videos switch off your audios whoever wants to speak can start the audio and speak so please put on your videos friends yeah so everyone please put on your video anyone yes yeah, jain adish and okay yeah yes Adish has raised his hand. Yeah. You want mm. to say something, Adish? And uh, there are Dr. Akhil Tashneem and Amila Singh. So, everyone, please put on your video so that uh, it will be interactive one. yeah radif okay sir okay sir to yeah so we can start so that in between the okay okay so this was a middle aged woman admitted in uh, 2016 had pain in the right hip for 12 days had fallen down 2 days ago it's a case of depression for last 7 8 years bedridden all the time had healed bed sores had not taken bisphosphonate and that's the x ray i'll just run through her x ray yeah so can you describe this niraj can you describe this x ray yeah unmute neeraj and then describe it sir it can be metabolic uh, pathological fracture sir yeah can you just describe the first x-ray? describe the fracture yeah okay or the x ray uh, sir x ray suggestive of right subprochantric femur fracture sir correct anything else so anything about the morphology of the fracture uh about the bone quality the x-ray quality etc so bone quality looks like osteoporotic sir uh why do you say that so do you think anything abnormal yes sir the uh, cortex looks like sir looks like what 
Vikash, I think your video is still doing strange tricks. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it uh, doesn't matter. Say anything about the pelvis? Would you say something yeah. about the pelvis? Yes, it is. Have a look at the pelvis. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I want to look that. Yeah. If anyone, anyone else wants to help him. I think uh, Sachin is also there, unmuted. So, Sachin. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, you just okay. read the X-ray, whatever he was reading. Uh, sir, there is a fracture in the ischial tuberosity right side, sir. Ischial tuberosity, okay. Then, just before you go to the fracture, why don't you just describe what you see on the X-ray? The overall, does the pelvis look normal to you or does there seem to be something abnormal in it? Do the bones look normal to you or do they look abnormal? Is it a generalized problem or you can see some localized problems? So start with all that before you go to the specific things that you want to tell. Yeah. Uh, sir, this is an X-ray AP view pelvis with... Uh... Uh, both femur, uh, the uh, bone uh, femur showing the uh, bone quality. Uh, the X-ray looks like osteoporosis. The uh, there is more translucency, radiolucency in the X-ray, sir. And uh, so, why? Do, so, what? What are the things you see that suggest osteoporosis? One is very thin cortices. Okay. Thin cortices. Yes, Second sir. is wide medullary canal. And yes, the sir. quality of the bone that you see. Okay, so what about the pelvis? Your generation may not have seen such pelvis. Yeah. This is no, I'm sure they've seen it. They've not recognized it more likely. Uh -huh. Try pelvis. Yes, yes. Somebody said Try that. Pelvis. Correct. Correct. Very good. So, where do you get that? Where do you get a triradiate pelvis? Sir, uh, sir, achondroplasia. Achondroplasia. So, you don't see this is the problem, okay? You guys jump to uncommon problems rather than thinking of what is really common in India, okay? Sir, we can get it in rickets also. So, rickets is in children. Once Sorry, they are... osteomalacia. Sorry? Osteomalacia. Osteomalacia, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, which is related to vitamin D deficiency. Yeah? It's in adults. Yes. Okay. Anything else you see in the pelvis x-ray? Anything else? Someone mentioned uh, ischial tuberosity fractures. Anyone... <laughs> Do you agree with that or you disagree with that? Do you see anything else? If anyone have any answer, you can raise your hand also so that it will be easier for us. So hold united fractures. Okay. Where? So, Which part? Sir, in bilaterals are superior and inferior pubic ramais. We should yeah, never... So she never had a fall prior to this. Okay. Yes. So what would you call this? No sort of fractures are they? Sir, it's fracture. Sir, insufficiency fracture. Okay. Also called? Also called? Pathological. Pathological. They, they may be they pathological, yes, but what is the name for it? That's a chest x-ray. And you get fractures without an injury? What do you yes, call sir. them? So we call them pathological fractures. Just uh, Someone should have mentioned about the type of the fracture. Nobody, do you see that subtrochantric fracture is transverse one? No, sir. so hang on, hang on. 
Janki, don't jump here. Yeah. He's going to come to that soon. <laughs> <laughs> So, they are called loser's zone. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There, I'll describe them later. Now, this is a transverse fracture. Is it quite common to have a transverse fracture? No, sir. No, sir. Generally, no, isn't it? Yes. yes sir. Generally, no. So, why would anybody get a transverse fracture? Exactly what Dr. Shanti was asking. Why do you? Why would you get a transverse fracture? So when the trauma is direct to the bone, we get a transverse fracture. Okay. Wait, what is... uh, not very common. Wait. Especially femur is a yes. bored bone. So it's not very common to get a transverse fracture. It is either a short oblique fracture or... So you've got the hint fracture in what? Or comminuted fracture. Sorry. So I was just saying that you've already given them a hint about it, so they should be able. To... Okay. No problem. We will discuss this. We want this for sir. The medication. We'll this at yes. But if, now, can if you... you differentiate between these two fractures? So I think so in his introduction, he said that the patient was not on bisphosphonates. Okay? Yes, I Has did never say. had bisphosphonates. Correct, correct, correct. So can you describe these two X-rays? Both are of two. Dif they are of two different patients. Age is sixty-five in both cases. The blood parameters are almost similar. Both of them have low vitamin D and low. Just about borderline low calcium. So, uh, Ranjan Rai, Rajan Rai, can you describe this x ray, these two? Just describe what you see, okay? Sir, this is uh, x ray AP view of uh, pelvis uh, left hip joint. Yes. So in a subtrochanteric fracture, yes. a subtrochanteric undisplaced fracture. Yes. Are they complete fractures? No, uh, sir. So what is the no, difference sir. between these two? Both are incomplete fractures, isn't it? So what is the difference between these two? Which side do they involve? Sir, compressive one in first x ray, there is a left side, sir. Yes, yes, I mean, they're both yes. left, but which side of the bone? Amin was answering, trying to answer you. Is getting involved in the left side of x ray and uh, the left side x ray, and the uh, in the right x ray, the lateral cortex is involved. So, what does that mean? So it might be a uh, kind of green stick fracture. Yeah, this force or various force. Or that, uh, <laughs> so are green stick fractures common in adults? No, sir. No, sir. Correct. So they are seen in children. They are seen You've in seen adults, it. isn't it? So one fracture is on the medial side, other is on the lateral side. Is yes, there any significance of these two? There are two zones, sir. Medial side is tensile zone and no, no, no. Side is Agreed, compressive camp clinical significance of these? So we can just the direction of the trauma. There is no trauma in both the cases. So someone just said medial side is tensile and lateral side is yeah. compression. Is that correct? Is that correct? No, sir. Then Opposite, why did you sir. say it? Opposite, sir. So medial is compressive, uh, lateral is tensile, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay. But where, where do you get a medial side incomplete fracture first in which pathology and where do you get a lateral side fracture first in which pathology? Let me put the question as straightforwardly as possible. So one in osteoporosis and one in osteopenia. Osteoporosis mm -hmm. and osteopenia. 
What are what is the difference between osteoporosis and osteopenia? A decrease in bony architecture, less decrease in bony architecture in osteoporosis, and more, sir, in osteopenia. Sir, a bone. I think you really need to get back to your basics. Let's carry bone, on with someone else. Sir, bone mineral density of uh, uh, zero to minus one is called as bone osteopenia, and uh, bone mineral density of less than minus two is known as osteoporosis. So basically, it's the same pathology in different yes, grades. So grade why should you have different fractures? Yes, sir. Any so. I, I, I think we can't even need to put them out of their misery. Sir, <laughs> one is uh, maybe because of the excessive accumulation of calcium, the second image. So, uh, in uh, I think. Sorry? Sir, yes, Subhanshu, carry on. Sir, uh, one is uh, the second one image because of the excessive accumulation of calcium, like in scurvy uh, uh, or pa uh, pager disease. And there is osteolite. You you may so what's have the common cause been. today? But sir, uh, scurvy is the most common cause. Scurvy. Oof. Wow, how wow. many scurvy cases have you seen in your life? I think most common sir vitamin D deficiency, uh, vitamin D dependent or phosphate, uh, phosphate deficiency. I think Vikash, you need to put them out of their misery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, friends, this is on the tension side. Yes, sir. And this is on the sorry, this is on the uh, compression side, and this is on the tension side. Now, why would a fr bone fracture like this? On suppose this is the tension side, sorry, and it opens like this. So it is as if a chalk is broken, isn't it? A chalk mm -hmm. is broken. So after 2007-2008, the fractures on the lateral side of femur especially subtrochantric region are classically called atypical fractures. Have you heard of atypical fractures? Yes, sir. You have heard of atypical fractures? Bisphosphonates, bisphosphonate related yes, fractures, right? Yes, sir. And the fractures on the tension side, on the medial side are called loser zones, okay? And they are classically associated with osteomalacia and of course yes, so many other things, right? Yes. Okay, let's go further. So this I will skip. Now describe this X-ray. We will take, I think. Uh... So one, so Who's been very quiet so far? I think Pushpinda. Is yeah. he there? Yeah, he's here. Yes, for spend that describe. Will you speak louder? loudly? I'm a bit hard of hearing. No, no, he's speaking very softly. Yeah. Can you Not speak able a bit to louder hear. and clearer? No, his voice is not yet clear. Oh. Pushpinda, is that deliberate or you you don't want to be heard? <laughs> See, you guys know much more than I used to know during my postgraduate days. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> okay, and someone else who can be heard, Sachin. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, this is a X-ray APUB with pelvis with uh, both femur uh, with shaft, and uh, on the left side there is a. Subtokentic fracture of the femur. Correct. Okay. Anything, Anything else you see? Sir, the no. osculatic lesion of the sir, femur. Correct. Where? Which side? Sir, Where? both sides, sir. Both sides of femur and. Okay. Femur and you're also getting an incomplete fracture on the left side. Yeah? Yes, sir. If... So the neck of femur is being kind of like some shepherd group. Shepherd crook. Shepherd. Have you seen a shepherd shepherd's crook? Like this, isn't it? Like this. Yes, sir. So don't so, try to jump. Okay, okay. Sir. Where do you get a shepherd's crook deformity? The fibrous display. Okay, one of them. Yeah, you're right. 
So do you think this is like virus dysplasia? Like so what is this? Yes, I think uh, I think so. Vansu should answer because is collecting these type of X-ray. Even yesterday he has taken one more. X-ray picture, so you can correlate. Yankee, uh, have you got two uh, two devices on by any chance? No, sir, so not my. Hearing side. you twice. Okay, Subhanshu. Okay, Subhanshu. Sir, uh, I really don't know. Uh, this is a centric lesion with a uh, cortex uh, cortex breakage with cort cortex breakage in medial side, sir. This one. And so you think this is a pathological fracture? Yes. Uh, sir, is it punched out osteolytic? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. So it is a pathological fracture, okay? Yes, a pathological. So you have pathology, yes. pre-existing pathology in the bone through which yes. the fracture has taken place. Now yes. you have what do you call lytic lesions on both sides? Yes, what is the age of the patient? Around forty-ish. I will give so another 40, hint. Okay. I will give another hint. He was in bed for almost two years. He oh. keeps walking gradually decreased. He had uh, urinary stones, renal sir, stones. Sir, hyperparathyroidism. Sir, hyperparathyroidism. Fantastic. Fantastic. Hyperparathyroidism. Hyperparathyroidism. Yeah, you guys can get the difficult ones and not the easy ones. Huh? Ah. <laughs> Salt paper appearance. Stone. Yes, sir, salt, salt paper. paper will you see here? No, sir, skull, where do you see? Where do you see then, salt paper appearance? Sir, a skull, sir, skull. It's a periosteal hemorrhage, which is skull, sir. In a skull. Okay, what? This is a moth eaten type of appearance. Great. Sir, actually, so, in hyperthyroidism, there is matlab, uh, drainage of calcium from the blood into the, uh, sorry, drainage of calcium from the bone into the blood. That is why we are seeing these osteolytic lesions in the bone. Okay, this is what you wanted to say, right? Yes, sir. Sir. Uh, salt paper appearance, correct? So, what other so signs what? do you get in uh, hyperparathyroidism, radiological signs? Uh, Brown skin, salt paper appearance in the skull. Uh, so he's shown you three different X-rays, okay? Terminal phalanges. What do you get? Terminal phalanx. What do you get? The brown tumor. Acro osteolysis. Just uh, one by one, you can tell them. Yeah. So the acro osteolysis on the ulnar side. Hello. हाँ बोलो सर सर अल्नर साइड पे सर सब पेरियोस्टिक हैमरेज मिलेगा अल्नर साइड में जनरली रेडियल साइड मेटाकार्पल तो रेडियल साइड ऑफ मेटाकार्पल और मिडिल फैलिंग्स यस सर आर वेरी कॉमन राइट यस दिस क्लाइविकल इज कॉमन एंड एसी जॉइंट आल्सो रिसोप्शन इज कॉमन राइट यस सर Okay, so that's hyperparathyroidism. Uh, this we have discussed. Why is it called Brown's tumor? In sir, it's, it is basically a misnomer. But earlier there is uh, there is filling of uh, blood in those uh, area. There is bleeding, which gets later on brownish color after some time. That is why it is called Brown's tumor. But what is it? What can it be mistaken? On histology, uh, ABC. Pardon? No. Very commonly mistaken on histology. Yeah, on histology, you do a biopsy and it's reported as something. Do you think it will be reported as hyperparathyroidism? No, sir. No. <laughs> Uh, and it is bone. Uh, possibly, what more commonly? Osteoclast. It's in 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 biopsy. Osteoclast and giant cell will be seen, sir. So what is what can it get mistaken and for? Sir, Paget disease. 
page it because uh, they have you the just mentioned osteoclast so where, where do you get osteoclast so sir giant cell giant exactly, cell yeah. giant cell right giant cell tumor right osteoclast tumor yeah. right yeah so we have discussed three entities one is an osteomalacia second is parathyroidism hyperparathyroidism and third is osteoporosis correct yes sir so can you yes. describe the uh serum calcium phosphorus vitamin d and pth levels before uh, that can you describe the vitamin d metabolism yes sir uh, yes sir Yes, so, firstly, sir, sir, uh, sir, it is originally, sir, synthesized from uh, cholesterol. Starting from skin to liver. Sir, one. Sir, one. Sir, one. Sir, one. One person at a time. Yes, sir. Who, I will start. Who's so, going? So, Amil, okay. Okay. Amil, Amil. Sir, first thing, sir, PTH. Parathyroid hormone. I love so, he asked you about vitamin D oh, metabolism. Vitamin D. Okay. Okay, sir, vitamin D. So it usually starts from a skin, sir. One person, please, okay? Yes, sir. So is one person is answering, second person, do not speak till he's finished, okay? Yes, sir. So I will carry on. Sir, uh, the skin, first, uh, it, skin absorbed from, it starts from rays to skin, skin to liver, liver to kidney, sir. Which rays? UV rays, sir. UV. Which First one? Which B, one? sir. B, B, sir. B. Very good. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yes. yes. And then, in sir, skin cholecalcy for all goes to liver, and liver it changes to 25 hydroxy vitamin D3, and then, sir, on uh, kidney. 25 hydroxy cholecalcy for all, okay? Yes, sir. And in and kidney, then? if in kidney, it, Converts to 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol. Okay, and what is that? Sir, that is the active form of vitamin D3. Perfect. Okay. What is it called? It, sir, cholecalciferol. No. Calcitriol. Perfect. Calcitriol, yes. Perfect. Perfect. So, what is D1, D2, D3? If there sir. are D2 and D3, there has to be D1, isn't it? Yes, sir. So what is D1, D2, D3? The vitamin which absorbed from, which which synthesized in skin, sir. From that, is, that is? D1, D2, D3. Honestly, I also didn't know why D1 doesn't exist. So I found out recently that initially it was described as D1, D2, D3. And then later it was proved that D1 is a combination or mixture of uh, these two D2 substances. And, yeah. and that is why nobody uses the term D1. So what is the difference between D2 and D3? Well, they are just the chemical molecular uh, additions of hydroxyl group to the main compound. That is 25 hydroxy, isn't it? Yes, sir. Or 125. But what is the difference? Sir is asking what is D2 and, and what is D3? D2 is in, is in liver, sir, and D3 in kidney. Which one is plant source? Which one is animal source? Achha, sir. Plant source is D2, sir, and animal correct. source is D3. Correct, correct, yes. correct. So... D2 and D3, both are chemically similar. But yes. the plant, plant source is, the, the animal source remains for a longer time and the concentration also increases better. So that is why all along the vitamin D3 that was available and it is very easy to manufacture. So all along it was a non-vegetarian vitamin D preparation. Right? Yes. So, sir. what are the now uh, coming to uh, uh, calcium, phosphorus, and alkaline phosphatase and PTH in yes, sir. osteomalacia? Sir, uh, may I speak? Yeah, yeah, please. 
सर सर ऑस्टियोमलेशिया इज अट सर डिजीज ऑफ सर सर एक्चुअली बोन मिनरलाइजेशन गो है सर एंड सर एल्कलाइन फॉस्फेट इंडिकेट्स द ऑस्टियोक्लास्टिक एक्टिविटी इन द बॉडी ओके फर्स्ट थिंग इट इज एल्कलाइन फॉस्फेट टेज नॉट एल्कलाइन फॉस्फेट Yes, sir. For for alkaline phosphate. So what? What? No, no. What is? What are the calcium, phosphorus, alkaline phosphates, and pH levels and Achha. vitamin D levels in osteomalacia? Osteomalacia. Anyone? Simple, na. Is calcium raised or yes, less? Then. Is alkaline phosphate is raised or less? Is phosphorus raised or less? Or Vitamin D levels are they increased or decreased? Simple, no. Only two things sir, possible. Normal. Osteomalacia, sir. Osteomalacia is due to decrease in vitamin D. So okay. vitamin D will be decreased. Okay. Okay. Vitamin D decrease then is due to less absorption of calcium. Okay. Yeah. So less absorption of calcium due to decrease calcium. <laughs> But you must have noticed that very often calcium levels are normal. As yes, sir. They may be. Just below normal or normal, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. Why? Why are they normal? Because sir, other hormone also influence it, sir. Just calcitonin and calcium. Sir, PTH. please unmute. John, sir, is muted here. Sorry, which other hormone? Sir, calcitonin and parathyroid hormone. Parathyroid hormone. Yes, sir. So. What happens with PTH? The uh, PTH will be increased. Sir. Okay. What is it called? Yes, sir. Increase in PTH is called secondary hyperparathyroidism. Second. Sorry. Secondary hyperparathyroidism. Perfect. Secondary hyperparathyroidism. Perfect. 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 So, uh, in osteomalacia, vitamin D is low, calcium is Normal or low, phosphorus is normal or low. Alkaline phosphates is raised, and vitamin D, sorry, uh, PTH is generally raised. Correct? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Good. So let's proceed because I will be discussing these things again. This we have discussed. Now, can you differentiate between these two X's? Yes, I think this is magnified here. This is magnified here. I think both are shaft femur fractures. Can is there any difference between these two? Yeah. So Pratyush is sitting quiet. Can you, Pratyush? Yes, sir. Sir, this is the X-ray of left. Uh, no, let's let's femur. not discuss X-ray. Wagere wagere. Tell us the difference in findings. So, I purposely magnified them. Yes. Yeah. So, at the fracture site, what difference do you see in the bone? Let's put it very simply for you. Any anyone Or, else? If yeah. Oh, sorry, sir. Is there any difference between this? I think Vikash has very uh, helpfully circled, circled what us. he wants you to see. The cortex <laughs> is more thick in the area circled. Perfect. So which one? Which one on the left or the right? Sir, uh, sir, the right one, the red circle one is more thick. Yeah, both of them have red circles. Acha, one is yeah. perfect. Yeah, this is just magnification. Yeah, just magnification. Very good. You can see the cortex is significantly thickened yes. at the fracture site yes. on the extreme right X-ray. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Sir, not edible. Yes, sir. Is why it is not? Can you see this or no? Can you see this or yes, no? Yes, sir. Can you see this clearly? 
So um, it's you it's, need to go on full screen. It's uh, yeah, it's not coming. Okay, just do it on this only then. Just go, go like that. that. We can we can manage. Sir, on the top there is current slide, sir. You can go there. Sorry. No problems. On the top there is current slide. We can the current slide. Yeah, one minute. Huh? Slide show. No, it's not yeah. happening. Slide I don't know. It's, 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 it's don't worry. Just I, go I on. Just log out just, and join again. It's don't no worry. Problem. I, I just log out and join again. No problem. So meanwhile, uh, where you can get the thick so cortices? Meanwhile, uh, where you can get the thick cortices? Someone has. Yeah, it's sound is coming so twice for some two reason. Two on, so yeah, please switch off. Sound is coming yeah. twice yeah. for some reason. So please switch off. Who's got two devices on? Not me. Got two devices on. I don't know. I'm not getting a slideshow here. Yeah. No, so just, just go on this. Uh, just Vikash, just uh, uh, click on the slide and then let it show like this. We can manage. Okay. So again, these are the various cases I have treated of insufficiency fracture. You can see this loser zone and pre and post treatment. Now here you can see there is a fuzziness of pubic symphysis as well as SI joint, which is post treatment is corrected. So in addition to loser zone and lower density, uh, you will have this fuzzy appearance at sacroiliac joint as well as pubic symphysis. This is the x-ray that I had shown earlier. You remember medial side? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, which is united after treatment, after vitamin D and calcium. A similar one. Now, what is this? Three x-rays of dif three different patients, same disease. Sir. Uh, so is that disease. a other jersey appearance? Sorry? Dictate, sir. Sir, the body bras are appearing too much sclerotic. So okay. it is looking like that if it is a marble bone disease, osteosclerosis type of thing. Okay. Anything else? More sir, common? Paget disease. Sir, Paget disease. Sir. Pagets may have this. Anything else? And they are sclerotic, but in between, what do you see? Rugger jersey appearance. Correct. Perfect. Sir. So where do you get that? Sir, osteodystrophy, sir. Renal osteodystrophy. Perfect. So that's Ragar jersey for you, right? Yes. So this is the jersey very commonly used, correct? Now what is this? Picture frame vertebra. Yes. So you Please can mom. see the molecular pattern deteriorating. Fish mouth, right? This is not yet become a fish sir, mouth. Jail, jail, only jail, vertical jail. trabecular are remaining. Horizontal left is appear. Correct. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Right. Horizontal left is appear. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Now, what would happen to this? That is a classic stress fracture on the lateral side. That is a bisphosphonate related fracture and more often than not, 
they don't heal they become more painful they bend more and more and one day they develop a complete fracture as you can see here right yes what is this this is sir this pulse this sir this pulse sorry Met, sir, sir, spruing, right. metaphysian, spruing, met, sir, sir, spruing, mm -hmm. metaphysian, spruing, spruing. What is spruing? Spruing. spruing. What is spruing? Spruing. What is spruing? So, so one who has two device probably because whenever I unmute him, there is. So please off so one so. Okay, sir. Sir, this is a case of rickets, sir. This is a case of rickets. Anything yes, else? Yes, Closer to that. Anything else? It's playing. Closer to that. This is playing. The Wimberger sign. It's playing. This is playing. I don't know. There's a lot of echo. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, okay. I have kept Subansu muted because from his side it is going at right. Okay. okay. So can you see a spur like thing? Can you see this white frankel? White this thing. Yes, sir. white line of frankel. White line of so white line of frankel. A white line of what? Frankel. Frankel in beta. Yes, sir. Perfect. 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 Okay, so what does it what is the problem in scurvy? Sir, in scurvy, uh, collagen, sir. vitamin C is deficient. So, okay. there is no proper hydroxylation of uh, 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 collagen. Hydroxyproline and hydroxylation yes, is needed. Correct. So, there is deficient. We can't do it because there is no vitamin C, ascorbic acid. Correct. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. It also has superiorial hemorrhages, yes, fractures, and one very, very important thing is the slipped epiphysis of scurvy is sub epiphyseal slip because the the uh, layers of uh, epiphysis remain intact and then it is just beyond that and therefore yes. generally after a facial injury in scurvy you do not fix it or do not reduce it they remodel very well Okay, this is an important thing. So, what is osteoporosis? Sir, uh, sir, there is something known as bone mineral density. Okay. Sir, uh, which we uh, usually matlab, uh, measure by two scores, which are known as the uh, sir uh, Z score and the T score. Yes. Sir, and Z score is when you compare yourself to another person who is of your age and race and all that. No, no. My question is, what, what is osteoporosis? What? Sir, when this, these, uh, these dexas are sort of surrogate markers, isn't it? How do you define osteoporosis? It is best measured by dexa. Agreed. So what is it? How do you define osteoporosis? You think of bone mineral density? So, yes, sir. How do you by define the bone osteoporosis? Mineral... So, when the bone mineral density reduces to so 2.5 standard deviation, that is called as bone osteoporosis. No, okay. what, Again, what is the understand the question. Uh, what, what is the basic pathology in osteoporosis as opposed to osteomalacia? I think someone else should answer this. So, they decrease mineralization of the bone. Which in which there is decreased mineralization of bone. Sir, osteoporosis. Is it? No, sir. In osteomalacia, there is decreased mineralization. So what is osteoporosis? Sir, the decrease in uh, mineral density, calcium phosphate density. Again, you're coming back okay. to the same no, answer, no. na? Someone no. else should answer. I think Neeraj has no, not yet on one thing. Yeah. Yeah, decrease in bone mass. Exactly. Okay. So it's a reduced. Amount of bone in bone, okay? Yes, sir. Anything else? The bone mass is less, but the microarchitectural 
deterioration also occurs you know what is micro architectural deterioration in the sense yes sir bone trabeculi yes trabeculi what what strangles sorry what strangle is a normal occurrence okay they are talking yes, about what is the pathology in osteoporosis one is the amount of bone the second is what happens to the trabeculae trabecular become dick what is yeah, it just, called he just showed you uh, three slides na yes sir trabecular pattern become less yeah so one prominent one thing uh, they used to ask the single score in the exam in viva usually so it is not only the uh, number of trabeculae is less even if it is faint also that will go with that thing index yes sir. so it is micro architectural deterioration of skeleton leading to increased fragility and chances of low trauma fracture in the sense suppose there are columns and beams right the columns and beams in a structure and if there is poor connectivity or less number of columns and beams what would happen the, the building architecture will will get destroyed right yes yes sir. okay so what i will do now is i will just discuss this in about 10 10 minutes or so and then sometimes after a couple of weeks we will go into details of osteoporosis is that okay john yeah i think if we already around 40 48 yeah. minutes so i i I'll just talk for about 10 minutes on this sure sure perfect so we know bones are have to be strong but they should be light to it to allow movements efficient movements whatever kind of and they also store calcium so these are the three basic things of uh, of osseous structures and therefore it is into different parts spongy bone the yellow marrow and the compact bone correct yes excuse me sir sir um, yes please maybe that your slide is not visible if you are it's not visible yes. no sir you just your the it's on the it's not opened oh i see the presentation is not opened is it open now yeah yes sir again i have to do the same thing i don't know why sure sure don't worry huh. just will increase the size here so they have to yeah i'll increase the size no that's okay don't worry no. we can do it here Yeah, perfect, sir. Okay. So they have to be strong to withstand physical activity. They also need to be lightweight to allow efficient movements, and they have to work as a storehouse of calcium. So these are the basic functions of a bone, and therefore nature has given us compact bone, spongy bone, which is generally widened, and the yellow marrow in between. so diaphyseal region essentially it is weight bearing mechanical function and metaphyseal regions of long bones and bodies of vertebrae store calcium so from 6 to 16 and 60 beyond not every tissue undergoes significant changes but even bone is in dynamic state from beginning to end so what happens due to skeleton so from first year to 18 years the size goes on increasing and after about 18 years after skeletal maturity the thickness of bone increases can you see this this is at 18 and the thickness increases the size will not increase the there will be so therefore the 
peak bone mass or the bone mass that a person would achieve maximum bone mass that a person would achieve will be around 30 35 years and not at adol adolescence so from 18 to 35 the bone density goes on increasing after 30 after about 35 to say 40 45 Uh, 45 to 50 in females, mane up to menopause, the density remains same, and after that, next seven years or eight years, there is a sudden drop, as you can see, and then again it slows down a bit. While in men, there is generally andropause around 60, 65, not before that. So they men not only they achieve more bone mass, they maintain the bone mass over a longer period of time. so ladies form about 20% less bone than men and for 7 years after menopause they lose significant bone so bone strength and this is something very important it goes on increasing for almost 10 to 15 years after bone maturity after uh, skeletal maturity so how does that happen suppose these are the trabeculi which you achieve at skeletal maturity after skeletal maturity the volume would not increase but the number and thickness of these trabeculae would increase and that increases the bone density while this would be on the extreme right you can see the number of trabeculae have gone down but it is more important to notice that the connectivity between the two trabeculae have gone down so that is what is called a qualitative decrease in bone strength it is it is not represented by dexa it is not represented by any bone density you understand and that is why uh, uh, dexa can anticipate or uh, uh, predict fractures and that prediction is accurate only in about 50 to 60% of the cases because it cannot make out this micro architectural deterioration so how does bone strength increase or decrease now here i would like to ask how does the bone strength increases or decreases what is the mechanism that occurs in the body Yeah. weight bearing sir weight bearing yes it increases but how does it increase what is a what is a cycle which increases the bone strength or bone density and what what is the cycle which decreases it sir hypertrophy and hyperplasia no this is called a cycle it's a resorption formation cycle so whenever you want to repair roads our mean corporation first thing it does is dig the roads correct and then it prepares a road so this is called resorption formation cycle about 10% of bone at a given time takes part and it resorbs you must have heard of cutting cone mechanism right the osteoclast go as a cutting cone and dig the bone like this and then in formative years more bone would be formed so some part of the bone is removed and some bone is added up to about 35 more bone is added than that is removed so first 10 days there is resorption then a membrane is formed so that no more resorption occurs and then bone formation occurs by osteoblast that takes about 190 days or so so the cycle takes at about 200 days first 10 days of removal then membrane formation and then bone formation on the other hand here you can see that's the bone resorption so significant resorption of the bone bone formation may be appropriate but finally the bone density would go on decreasing because there is lot of resorption formation cannot match it and that's our classic post menopausal osteoporosis where bone resorption is more 
while senile at a later date, the bone formation suffers. So bone resorption is not much, but the formation doesn't occur. So again, this void is not filled. So this is what is seen in this. That's the osteoclast. 10% of osteons take part. Resorption by osteoclast. Then there is apoptosis of osteoclast. Means what? What is apoptosis of osteoclast? Sir, death of the osteoclast. So is it just death or you would like to add something? Uh, God, so it's got inert, not irreversible injury, sir. It is called programmed death. Programmed death. Programmed death. It is when they are brought in, it is programmed that they will die after XYZ time. Okay, that is apoptosis. So then a membrane is formed and then osteoblast in weight and then newborn formation occurs. Okay? Yes, sir. So bones can become weak if less peak bone mass is achieved. Right? There is more digging of the bone, which would be because of more frequency or more osteons take part in digging. And lastly, poor repair or poor formation. So females, it is more common. We Asians are more likely to have osteoporosis, lazy lifestyle, no walking, drinking, smoking, all that leads to osteoporosis or poor bone mass, inadequate female hormones, early hysterectomy, early menopause, scanty period, nulliparous woman, all that leads to poor bone mass. And this is a very common thing these days, zero figure. And no milk and sunshine. Rheumatoid arthritis, diabetes, drugs like steroids. So these are the bone strength determinants. Genetic, race and gender which are unavoidable. Smoking, excessive alcohol, deficiency of sex hormones, thin and lean, chronic vitamin D deficiency and sedentary lifestyle are avoidable things. So I always give this example. If your father is poor, you are unlucky. If your father-in-law is poor, you are stupid. So lastly, bones are in constant state of digging and forming. Peak bone mass is achieved way beyond skeletal maturity. Therefore, that is a good window period to improve the bone mass. Peak bone mass is an insurance against osteoporosis. But additional insurance has to be taken by following good habits. Okay, this is just the introduction of osteoporosis. I stop sharing because it's already it, 8 o'clock. Vikash, Vikash, you're going to be labeled a sexist by the time <laughs> you finish this talk. <laughs> uh, one more th uh, the thing uh, you mentioned early uh, a hysterectomy, even more important is when they also have oophorectomies at the same time. Yes. Okay, so, so I just talked to a very eminent gynecologist. So what she said that even if ovaries are not removed, in about a couple of years' time, they become non-functional. Yeah, true. But so, the initial so yes, period, I mean, it's suddenly... So that's the time they really need hormone replacement, hormone therapy. replacement therapy. If they've had both, then they need to be go on hormone correct. replacement therapy for some time. Correct, correct. So which is not for osteoporosis, which is generally for postmenopausal symptoms. And that also gives insurance against osteoporosis. Sure. So Okay. Okay. Thank you very Any much. Questions? I think uh, we've had questions along the way, so <laughs> hopefully there are no more burning okay. questions. And uh, since it's already 8 o'clock, I think we yes. should call it a close. Today Thank you very much, Vikash. Let's enjoy. Uh, no, it was good. A uh, few uh, technological problems, yeah. but otherwise, Thank uh, you. great. Thanks a lot, Vikash. As Thank usual. you. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank, Thank you. Everybody. Bye. Bye. Sure. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir.